it's really huge. It's ready to cut into two. It smells really good, and we're going to try this one first. Hi, and welcome back again with Lee Martina. So in this video, I'm going to do um mukbang, which is the first dish that I have. It's this big crab with chili and everything together, and also rice. And then I also have this prawn. This is called udang bakar. I don't know what's the spices or the herb for this, but this one I know there's chili and then there is onions and everything mixed together. Without further ado, let's eat! So first, I'm going to try the, okay, <laughs> the clam first. It's really huge. It's ready to cut into two. It smells really good and we're going to try this one first. It's a bit hard to open. We're going to give it a taste. Mm. Don't forget the rice. The sauce is really amazing. You can taste the spices from the chili and then there's the big chili which um, get the sweetness and then also there's onion you can taste the kick to it because it used a few chilies but it's not really overpowering Next one, we're going to try the prawn. It looks like this. Check out the head and then let's try the meat. You could really easily, I mean, you could easily get this dish from the local area and near the beach because in Bali, it's really famous for the beach so if you go to Kuta or Sanur you can easily get this but this one my mom got it from Jinbaran really tender even without the sauce you can already taste the herb that already went into the prawn today comparing to the other day but the good thing is it's not raining because usually in a few days in a few weeks ago it's really like the rain keep pouring down but luckily today the weather is really sunny and it's really perfect to eat seafood Sorry, and this one. Wow. 
with the rice. And then let's see if there's the sauce. See, this is the sauce. When you go to Jimbaran, there's many more options. Not only crab or prawn, but there's also have um, clams and then fish. There's many seafood options in there. There's also baby octopus. There's calamari. There's squid. There's everything. If you ask me what's my favorite seafood, it will be crab prawn and also octopus or calamari or squid mm. 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 I really like the sauce because of nicely the spicy the savory mixed together It's a bit hard to open because of I don't have that thing to, you know, cut it open. I basically just use my hand. the prawn there's actually many types of prawn but this one is the medium one there's also the tiger shrimp or th uh, prawn I don't know how to say it but yeah basically that which is really huge as well around 10 centimeters We don't eat that part. Mm. Ta da! Whoa, oh, 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 I'm gonna put it here. Wow. It's like it. Wow.
it's really hard to eat it if you don't have like, you know, the equipment to open it. Mm. Full of meat and it's really tender and so juicy. Mm. It's sweet guys. Empty. Let's go to the legs. Oh. It's easier because it's much more smaller, so I can use scissor. Mmm. Oh. oh, it's a bit hard. Oh. Wow, the meat. The other one. Mm. It's a little spicy, but not really. It's something that I can um, I can tolerate. I really don't know how people eat seafood really clean because I eat it really messy. Oh. Mm. Oh. I don't know how to open this, so let's just put it away first. You cannot waste any single tiny bits of the crab. To wash out everything, to cleanse my mouth before I start to eat again. This is the young coconut, fresh from my garden. So we're we going to give it a taste. The meat.
it's really hard to open. So I need scissor again. Ooh, ooh, wah. If you want to eat crab, you really have to take your time. Because it's not easy to find the meat. But if you have the equipment, which is like, you know, the thing to open it. So if you have the thing, to open the shell is much more easier, but for me, I don't have because I use just the tool that I found near my kitchen or in my kitchen, which is really kind of useful, which is knife and then scissor. But I really recommend a much more larger scissor and bigger scissor rather than this because this one, it does help me cut, but it's only helped me to cut like this tiny weeny piece of a crab. Can't open this big piece. Everything I'm done with the crab. It's already finished everything. And we're going to moving on to the shrimp. And I'll try my best to finish it. The shrimp, oh, it's a medium size, but as I said before that, there is much more bigger size, which is the tiger shrimp. Oh. If you eat coconut, I really recommend you guys to eat it like straight away from, you know, the fruit. Because of, it just has this really fresh sensation rather than you just put it in the glass. You pour it in a glass. I think I can't finish all of this, so I'm going to give it to my family. So it's not a waste. My family will eat it, I guarantee you guys. So I'm going to give it to my family for the rest. I'll let's sip it up. So that's all for today mukbang. It's a very, very messy mukbang. I'm so sorry because I don't know how to eat um, seafood in a very clean way because there's no way I can do it because seafood, you need to dig it up open, especially crabs. So that's all for today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to turn on post notification to stay tuned on the content that I will upload next. So bye guys.